arena. No! Or, or another opportunity to practice. Another opportunity to practice. It's okay, I figured it out. Nagibsipsum. Eating. So it makes a wall around your whole base, but like these are in the way at the back. I could double click, but last time I did that, I deleted my outer wall. <laughs> and I, uh, I'm worried I'll never live that shit down. Don't worry about it. What, why can I not afford to do stuff? Oh, shit. I thought I already sent another one in. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right, I'm already doing my opening really wrong, but I wanted to be cool and do uh, some push. -up. Dude, this is a nightmare. Our dining room. All right, things have been pushed. Church Velajny. Salamness. Oh, I see. If I, if I send these a little late like I did, I can't make the mill. Interesting. This is th I, this is something that I find really fun about kind of like winging an opening after I've been doing like a more precise build. Where's the other? There he is. Da, 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 da. This guy goes here. I'm getting better at being able to just push the sheep in and not screw anything up at all. So anything that I've screwed up is not something that you saw, certainly. Really cool pathing. Look at me, I'm complaining about pathing. I am an Age of Empires 2 player now. Don't deny I am. Holy shitting, holy no! Okay. Come on, turkeys. Line them up. It's an opportunity to get loom. Oh, I thought I gave you all, you know, go, go somewhere over there. All right. Oh, what are the swans doing? They're experiencing their final swan song, as it were. So we're 22, 23, 24, 20, 
21, 22, 23, 24. Nagib Sib Sami. Alright, so. Nagib Sib Sami. Okay, so we're going 22, 23, 24. So what do I need to make sure that I do? I need to make sure that I get three or four over here. I need to make sure that I have enough on wood. See, we, we're already we're already making making a mistake. We need to make sure that we have enough wood. That's what I need to do. That's what I need to do. That's what I need to do. Okay, okay. So it's twenty-four. Okay. So let me see if I can do this right. So then I, then I, I need enough wood. We're just going to have y'all go over here. So... So I think maybe I already am doing this wrong because I'm seeing like, wow, I don't have like any wood at all. But I have 13 choppas. So I'm, I'm just, I'm just studying, I'm studying the numbers. So I need to get two of these. So I need four here. That, so that was actually not bad. Okay, this was actually not the worst. It was a little bit embarrassing. So this is why often I kind of feel like I don't need to. So this is often why I don't actually feel like I really need to uh, get the market when I play Ethiopians because of this castle up bonus. Nice. So we have that, and so now I need to this and get this. So so now all of a sudden, I really do need to start getting some more foodie duties. Superb. But I also need to make sure that I have enough wood so I can build a monastery right away. So we're, we're quite a ways ahead. Let's stay ahead. Okay, I, I stopped doing anything with the scout, thereby desecrating his name. Alright, so we are going to currently be looking for... Too many actually food gatherers, I think. One, two, three, four, five, great. Being housed is just terrifying. Holy shit. 
A man at arms! No! No! So next objective is getting a damn town, a damn town center up. Stop paying attention. Alright, so now I can get the far one. All right, we got them all. Pokemon. Oh, gotta catch them all, Joe. You guys enjoyed that? I'm sorry, am I fast canceling? And then, like, actually managing my stuff? All right, I'm owning. Kind of. You all go here, but this one goes here. So I'm basically just trying to make as many damn farms as I can to support this production. Built this. I built the uh, other town center a little too early. Because I don't quite have the food to support all this, but I think we're still doing okay. Hitting five, staying alive. All right. The Gibbs Just like my guys. Watch this. Didn't get fucking housed. Not this time. How much is this? Now, what's the... Okay, so the right way to tech up would be to get a university... Holy shit, I remember. I mean, that's insane. One, two, three, four. And I do want to get that right now. It advanced to the Imperial... Holy shit! The Imperial Age. Oh my god. Um, 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 okay, so that... This is a fucking emergency. Um, um... 
Okay, so what am I trying to do? And cannoneers. Okay, so I should be getting castle of my own defensively as I'm teching up. And I'm not going to get any more TCs because I think I'm already ahead in that regard. So I need to keep on building this stuff. So all of you rally now to there. So, gotta not get housed. Okay, so let's see. So I'm gonna get a castle because I, you know, never not been a coward. May as well just kind of keep up the coward gaming. Okay, so the next thing that I'm trying to do is just get to Imperial Age. is this upgrade. So as I'm getting to Imperial Age, I need to get a lot of farms. Right? And I'm going to get a castle. Dude, I literally have two go dudes there. Let me just buy some food. Okay. Literally, I've, I've had two on gold. So I'm going to build this here. As I learned, I want to be getting a lot more farms. Wrong one. This is the one that we want. So this is what Grathrang was saying before. We have some issues. Huh. Um, I'm getting a little confused. What to do? Trying not to forget my economy upgrades. Buy, buy yourself some gold! Sell this wood. Oh, wait, wait, no, no. Th these get countered by these fucking things. Okay, I, I am screwing the pooch on this one. I am just getting totally flustered and confused. Alright. Alright. 
So I should, I actually get shit on here. Okay, so I think I needed to not build. Okay, change of plans number 15. I think I needed to do this instead of getting the, this stuff. Because, I mean, I am just. All right, never give up, never surrender. Oh, and we get housed. Oh, that's fucking hilarious. Alright. Did I get that freaking Arbaluster thing yet? Arbaluster. Dude, look at how many fucking things this guy has. Alright, never give up, never surrender. All right, we have a new base. New base coming in. Never give up, never surrender. All right, this is our base now. All right, excuse me. So we need to get this, so let's sell. Sell, sell, sell. Husser is six fucking hundred. Okay, so let's sell wood, wood, wood. Husser. No idea if those win there, but you know, this is the game. Alright, so let's see if we can do this. You guys go here. So I need to gather up my forces and just see literally what do I have. Not to be outdone, Day 9 hangs in the game. Uh, I didn't get any upgrades, so that kind of fucking sucks. If I can get out of here somehow. Alright guys, we're gonna go this way. So we need production. This feels super duper 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 fun. I lost like everything. Yeah, I needed to just not do anything <laughs> similar to what I did. Because uh, I, I I just continue to build Ethiopian archers, and I think that that actually doesn't help at all here. These guys are fucking crazy. So we're absolutely goldless. Let's see if in some way I can just keep building shit that maybe we can make some magic happen. This is the problem, is that we now have 31 villagers. Holy shit. I've never been so owned in my life. So I'm going to hope and pray that my multitasking abilities can maybe do something here. So this, okay, so, never give up, never surrender. I built way too many of these fucking things, that's for sure. 
Never give up, never surrender. Now at some point I'm gonna to need to start making huskers. So where is this? So let's build some of that. Kelly. Shit. I don't actually know if I can ever fucking take that shit. Never give up, never surrender. I have 59 supply. My opponent has doubled my score. Never surrender. Ever. You couldn't pay me a million dollars to leave this fucking game. It's time. It's time. We're, we're building what we need to build. Oh my god, the wildlife is out to get me. Wildlife is a hater. This is my base. This base was made for me. Alright, I have eight. Eight Hussars. No one's ever lost when they have eight Hussars. Dude, this... This rush? Fucking... Oh my god. <laughs> I'd do it on since I would leave this game for $7. Dude, holy shit. I think, I think I'm fucking hosed. So like... Dude, dude, literally, I have no idea how to hold that off. Like, I think that the thing that I went, that went really incorrect for me is that I started to build up a bunch of archers and I was still on the archer plan. So first of all, there, there's sort of two things that are going in my going on in my mind. One thing is, how do I feel about my performance with respect to my goal of getting Imperial Age and adding in the archers as I'm adding farms to prepare I actually feel really, really, really good about that. And that's actually the only thing I really care about. Because I think there's this really weird quality to RTS games where you're not actually really trying to win this game. You're trying to develop a set of skills so that you can win future games. Um, and so, um, and, and by the way, let me, let me, let me um, just talk through my thoughts here. Let me actually just, share with everyone what, what I'm thinking before all of a sudden the backseaters kick the door in. Um, yeah, in an RTS, you're not actually trying to win this game. You're trying to develop a set of skills that will help you win the next game. And it's kind of like you're playing multiple different games and plans in each individual match as part of that process. So for instance, I was trying to practice an arena opening. That was one of the things that I was trying to do to get to Fast Castle, and I felt extremely good about that. So I was like, hell yeah. Um, I even did some things wrong, but I felt really good about that. There's a second thing that I was trying to practice, which was the, um, you know, going to Imperial Age as an archer-based civilization. Come here, cat. There you go. No back seating, Despy. And I actually felt really good about that. I also find it kind of fun to do the crisis management of trying to rearrange things. And I've never really gotten to practice that that much. 
So that was actually kind of interesting and fun to practice in isolation. Like how do I actually prepare for and get out of my base if I feel like I can't actually defend it? And so I even have some questions associated there. Um, so, I mean, honestly, in truth, Overwhelmingly, I had I had a lot of fun and feel a lot of awesomeness about that game. When I see an attack that I have never seen before, like what Deadly Wallace did here, I don't I think that the wrong thing to do, well, I, let me let me be more precise. The thing that has brought me virtually no success is to try to answer the question, how do I stop that first? I think that um, every time that I have tried to go, oh my God, how do I stop that? Maybe I need to rush for knights. Maybe I need to do blah. Maybe I need to do all of these things. Um, I think the first thing that I need to do is just figure out what the hell happened. That's been hugely helpful and hugely successful for me when I see something that I've never seen before because trying to figure out a solution when I don't even know what the problem is, I don't even know what is happening, that's always bit me. And let me give like an example of how that's bitten me in the past. I remember, you know, like being a hardcore competitive StarCraft player, going to tournaments and all this sort of stuff. I'd be playing and I'd, be, I'd encounter a new build and go, what the heck? Okay, so to counter that, next time I see it, I'm going to, you know, get fast plus two carapace on my mutalisks and try to counterattack a lot. Okay, cool. I would see it next. I would try to do that and it like wouldn't work. So I'd go, oh, okay, I guess, I, I guess, am I not being aggressive enough with that. Okay, so let me try to do the same thing and be aggressive. And instead, again, I should, what helped me is looking at what my opponent is doing and going, oh, my opponent actually has almost no economy. There's actually nothing to counterattack here. I was coming up with these plans to try to answer that, when really I didn't even know what the heck was happening. So that's what I want to do right now. And, and you know, th this is one of the reasons why I immediately went on sub mode. I didn't immediately, but like like pretty quickly went into sub mode and cleared the chat. Is a bunch of people started, you need to do this, you need to do this, you need to do this. Here's the thing that happens, here's this and this, and here's this, blah, 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 blah. Um, it's one of those things that I almost imagine it's like if you blinked, something happened and you opened your eyes again and people are explaining to you how you should have handled the thing that you literally didn't see. I just don't know what to do with it. Come here, hey, get off the keyboard. Thank you, Sweepy. So let's do that first. Let's do that first. Well, let me go ahead and turn off sub chat. All right, so let's let's see. Let's just see literally what's happening. So here's where there's some backseating that is totally fine, which is answers of what is happening. Just what? Not the way to deal with this is blah, you know, but like, oh, they'll stay on one TC and go for a really fast Imperial Age, and it's strong because of X, Y, Z. All those things are great. Because again, we're just trying to answer the question, what, what the heck even happened? And you know, it's kind of funny because you may have seen that when that happened, I've been screaming in abject panic in other Age of Empires 2 matches today. I didn't really scream in abject panic there because of what I was just saying, where my brain goes, oh, I've never seen this before. Let me just try some stuff out. Hey, you know, it's like, I almost feel free to just not worry and not stress. God, man, when I was younger, I, I would get, like, my face would get all hot when it was something I hadn't seen before. Oh, my God, I've never seen that. But you have to understand, I, I, I've never seen it, so of course I shouldn't be expected to win. You know, I'd have all these, like, real self-consciousness sort of things. <laughs> this is cute. Let's see what's happening. What is happening? A lot of posts clip from this game. Damn right, Grathrang is the one where I called you out and thanks for helping stuff out.
The Higgs is a Turk stay, and Dark Age to sustain that fast Imperial push. That way you can read whether your opponent is going for the strap. Yeah, I mean, I think that it's one of these things where it, it's there. there is statements like if they do it fast, if they do it slower. Fast and slow are relative words. It is fast relative to what you normally see, or slow relative to what you normally see. And I don't know what's normal. I don't know if my opponent's screwing up or if I'm owning and going faster, like, or if I'm playing like literally very evenly. Those relative words don't really mean. Like, so for instance, I, 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 an example of this, there are statements that only make sense if you have game knowledge. Here's one. If your opponent has a lot of archers, do this. I don't know what a lot is. I don't know what those words mean in context. So when you start getting really concrete, it starts being really... It, it, it clarifies. So for instance, if your opponent gets to Castle Age by the 12-minute mark, you know that they've done X. That suddenly is super concrete. It actually lets me see something. Opponent's in Foidal Age. Pal Day 9's about to castle up. I think I hit it around 15. Oh, I'm so good I remembered myself because I was there at the time. So, yeah, what the heck even happened here? So I'm, like, running out with all my stuff, so my opponent just completely abdicates the relics. So my opponent got a monastery and a siege workshop. Holy shit, so, so sells the stone to get a bunch of Wow, that's crazy. And what was that unit they were making with the gun? That's another unit that I'm unfamiliar with. So they hit Imperial Age. Do they get like free chemistry or something? Chemistry upgrade free? I see. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. The Yanisari. So let's let's find out what the heck this unit is. Alright, so it has 50 health. Strong versus infantry, weak versus massed archers, massed cavalry. I wonder why it's weak versus massed. Archer's Mass Cavalry. Well, it has seven range. Wait, I'm remembering something. Are... Is the hand cannon... Hmm. How does this work? Does it actually get bonus range from the archery range upgrades? Because I feel like there was some unit that just didn't get bonus range for things. I think it's only armor, which is why Villain only got the armor upgrades. Okay, I see. I remember seeing those and just going, all right, sure, could, could be true. Okay, so there's, there's, Arbalesters were a good choice. Yeah, so this, this was incorrect, I think. I think I needed to build these behind the castle. Okay, so here, here's something that I just didn't even think about. If my opponent is going for a, like a really fast Imperial Age to where I think there's aggression, I need to be a little bit more cognizant to the placement of things because only when the gates started to go down did I go, oh, Oh yeah, these are these are undefended, huh? So arbalesters were actually a good choice. Okay, I assumed that that would be incorrect. Okay, so first of all, I guess what I would say is I have a two-parter. Question part one is, what would what should I have done? What would you have done when you saw the fast imperial age? What would you have done? Same thing that I did: build castles and try to get a bunch of archery ranges. 
And then a different question is, what is normally the right thing to do? Because like, the first question is, given that I put myself in this situation, what what is some thoughts that I could have to get myself out? And the second thing um, is what's what normally works. First castle uh, behind walls. Yeah, okay. Faster military production so you can attack his base to force him back. Okay. Wow. Yeah, because, like, I, I, I thought that... Because to, to talk about my logic, my logic was, oh, aren't generally, like, cavalry good against archers? So I guess I should get that because my opponent is going to be able to cook all my stuff with scorpions. Well, I also kind of assumed that my opponent was... I, I don't know how good this unit is. Like, I've just rarely ever done anything. Yeah, so maybe maybe the castle was... No, actually, the castle... Yeah, maybe I didn't even need to build castles. Maybe I just should have gone straight into mass military production and just tried to keep things slow. Because castles, castles, when my opponent's already hit Imperial Age, is like, eh. Yeah, that never occurred to me. Yeah, the castle versus fast Imperial Age is just, is kind of weak. So I changed my mind a bunch of times here. Because I have 95 villagers. Yeah, okay. So would it also be fair to say, if my opponent goes for fast Imperial Age, to where, for whatever reason, I think that they're on one town center? I should probably just, like... Instantly go for, or I, it's probably okay to cut workers, huh? Okay. Wow. All right. Nice. My opponent was the Turks. All right. Hell yeah. All right. Well, that's awesome. I'm going to be playing tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. Um, I'm going to leave. That was a lot of fun. Uh, I'm going to win every single game I play tomorrow.